All right, so got another quick video here. So this is going to be for the Husqvarna, just a little electric power washer. Picked it up from Costco. Now, all power washers are going to be pretty much the same, but this one obviously is specific to here. So you got these two latches here. Unlatch, unlatch. That is how you move the arm up and down. So when you have it stored, you keep it down. When you want to move it up, flip it up, lock in that side, lock in that side, great. Now you have a way to tilt and wheel it around on its wheels. Your electric cord, obviously you're just going to unravel it. It's just a regular uh, outlet. You're just gonna plug that into. <clears throat> your wand, that is going to be over here. So, I have it put together already. If it were not put together already, what you would do is the side that is black as opposed to the side that is red. So one side's red, one side's black. The black one, you just screw onto the little threaded end there. The red side, we're going to take and on our power washer, you have this all brass piece here. That is what the red side is going to go into. So you push it on. When you go to thread it on though, you're going to want to make sure that you're applying pressure in that direction. Um, make sure you're applying pressure in that direction so that way you can actually thread it on because it is a little bit spring loaded. So you push and thread it on there until it's tight. That's good. You do the same thing on here with the black one. This other connection here, so we have the, this big tube, that's for a high pressure, and this little one that has this little black collar on it. Spin that around to the light. There's this little black collar on it. That's the part that you're going to screw your garden hose into. So you would take your garden hose, just a normal hose. Again, that's going to put in there and you're just going to thread that on. Soap is pretty hard to miss. It's the big thing that says soap on it. Put that in there, whatever soap you want to use for when you're power washing. That's just going to go right in here. So we got the soap. We got our water hookup. We got our electrical hookup. We got our pressure wire. Now, you have your wand here. The two pieces, if they're separated, you just would screw or unscrew. I'm unscrewing it because I already have it screwed just to show you. And it's kind of hard doing this one-handed. There we go. So that just gets threaded into this end of the trigger. Now you have different quick attachment tips on there and you have this nice little um, holder that sits on this end of it. So this part right here, spring loaded. When you unlock it is by pushing back and then you can just press that into there. By the way, the little black one here, that's the one that is going to be dispensing the soap that you have on there. So when you have this little black one on here, again, to put it on, you're just going to pull it back and then um, let the collar go back forward again. So the little black one that comes with it, that's the one that you're using when you want to dispense the soap out onto whatever the surface is that you're going to be cleaning. These two ones are going to be flat ones. One's 15 degrees, one's 25 degrees. It's just how sharp the, the um, triangle it is that it makes. And this big black one, that's got a little spinny thing in it. So when you're cleaning, rather than just shooting a straight stream, it actually has a little thing in there that spins around like that. So it creates a cone of where you're cleaning, which actually does a wonderful job when you're pressure washing along edges like this. So if you're using one of like these green or gold ones that make just a triangle, it's just a straight fan shape, those ones, when you're washing in here, you get a lot of kickback 
that will kick up all the dirt and stones and stuff back at you. Um, and it's very, very messy. When you use the big cone, the one that spins around like that, that's what the stream does. When you're using the spinning one like that, you can actually clean right along these edges very, very nicely with very little kickback. Um, and it shows you on here too, your different um, cones, nozzles, uh, how much PSI and uh, your gallons per minute on here. Again, it's just a, a little light duty electric one. Um, so that's how we use it. The only other thing that we're gonna show you here is there's no lock open on this one, which is would be nice if it had it, but it doesn't, so oh well. Um, this little red button here, you can either push it from that side or you can push it on this side. It doesn't matter, it's ambidextrous. In order to squeeze the trigger, because the trigger's locked, you have to push in one of the sides, and then you can squeeze the trigger. Um, and then it would obviously be spraying if you had it turned on. Right around the front side of the machine here, you got this big knob. Zero is off, one is on. So when you want to turn it on, you would just turn it like that. When you want to turn it off, turn it like that. Um, one thing to bear in mind so you don't spray yourself all over the place when you go to disconnect your hose when you're done. When you're done, turn it off. Squeeze the trigger on here to let out whatever water pressure is left in the lines. Then go ahead and unscrew um, your hose. If you try and unscrew your hose, even if it's off, but you try and unscrew your hose and you haven't let the pressure out, you're going to get sprayed everywhere. And that is what it looks like all wrapped up you take your hose I, I always disconnect it so that we don't have to worry about absolutely um, hitting that thing or snapping it when it's in storage um, so I take the hose off gently place it around here not too tight um, the electric wire take that and wrap that around and coil up and put it right on the holder right there again nice that way it's not gonna fall apart but don't make it super tight because you'll kink the wires the handle disassembles into two pieces here. So you have the trigger part, which sits in there like that. The black plastic part goes right there. So sits down right in there. Stays uh, nice and attached there, contained. And on this side, you have the pressure side that you remember had all those different attachments on it. And that's just gonna snap into this piece and the head of it goes down into that piece right there. And there you go. You have a nice, small little package that you can just come over to, grab it by the handle, and walk with it. Not too bad.